Hi, my name is Tom Casey. I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Basically the purpose of this video is just to compare you with um, one of your competitors in terms of where you guys uh, show up in search results when folks are searching for limo service online in Kansas City. There's two factors I wanted to point out for you. Um, but before I do that, I want to show you exactly how many people are searching for limos online in Kansas City. This is a tool from Google. It does a monthly count of search terms. And I went back for the last 12 months for limo service in Kansas City. And this is how many people are searching. There's 590, 1300, 1000. It's kind of all over the place. But it's well over 100 <laughs> every month. Well into the multiple hundreds and over 1000 in some cases. That's a lot of people searching. 720 in January last month. A lot of people searching for limo service. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So what I did is I um, went to Google, did a search for limo service. This is page one in Kansas City. And let's see where I find you. You are over here. Here you are, Camo Limo. And you're on page three. So what I wanted to do is just look at two factors that the search engines consider. They obviously consider more than two, but I want to keep this video short. So that's why I'm only doing two. But I want to see if there's a difference between you and somebody on this page just using those two factors and those two factors alone. And if there is a difference, if there's something that can be done about it to help you out. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to compare you to Horizon Limo. They're on the first page. And the first factor I'm going to talk about is something called citations. A citation is a listing on a directory site for your business. It's a name, address, phone number listing. Um, this site here that I'm on actually goes out and finds directory sites and also does citation counts. So here's a directory site. The type is directory yellowbot.com. As an example, if KMO Limo had a listing on yellowbot.com for name, address, and phone number, that's considered one citation. Okay? Now search engines like citations because it feels like it makes you more legitimate. So the more citations you have, the better and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you. Uh, at the top of this page we actually did a citation count. So I put your business here and it's telling me that you have 98 citations. That's pretty good. Horizon, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 118. So there's a little bit of a difference, not a huge difference though. But the good news is that you can get added to these directory sites fairly quickly and easily. So if we wanted to, we could bump this number up to like 130. Um, and really give you a nice boost in the search rankings. Um, definitely you'd show up a lot sooner than you are now and more people would see you and obviously that would translate into more business. Um, okay, that's just the first factor. The second and last factor I'm going to talk about is something called backlinks. A backlink is a, list, is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called KansasCityLimoSupplies.com and on that website they had a link to KMOLimo.com and obviously that went to your website that's considered one backlink. Okay? Now say search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons they feel like it makes you more legitimate and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks. Okay, so on this website uh, they actually do a backlink count so I can put your website in here and do a get backlinks and it'll tell me how many backlinks you have. The number we want to look at is the unique so it's telling me you have seven unique active backlinks. Okay let's look at Horizon. Horizon has 49 okay so there's a bit of a difference however this is the good news. Look at this score. I'm going to tell you what that is in just a minute. If we add, this is all we would have to do, we wouldn't have to add 40 links to you and again we can add backlinks to your site but if we just added 10 or 15 quality backlinks to your site and get this score up you would be much better shaped than you are right now in terms of search results but let me explain what this is this link influence score is how good the links are that are coming into your website the better the website that's linking to you the stronger the website that's linking to you the higher the score is going to be so that's why I'm saying if we get 10 or 15 quality backlinks, we get them from quality sites and get this score up to around 30%, that again would have a huge impact, positive impact in terms of where you show up in the search rankings. It would move you up a lot. 
more people will definitely see you more phone calls should be more business okay so that was it for today in terms of the factors that I'm going to cover there's just two that I talked about but we saw that there's definitely a difference between you and someone on that other page of Google but we also uh, learned that we can uh, take steps to correct those differences and mitigate them and in doing so just by correcting these two factors alone have a very nice positive impact in terms of where you now start to rank in search results so anyway I hope this was helpful uh, this is what I do for a living but I don't charge for consulting so if you'd like me to go into more detail about what I talked about today I can do that for free if you want me to cover other factors I cover for my other customers that affect search results I do that for free as well and if you, if you even want me to review your website, I will also do that for free. No cost, no obligation. Okay, so anyway, I hope this was a little bit helpful, like I said. But I'm going to end the video now. If you want to get a hold of me or want more information, please feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. Thanks a lot. Bye.